Hey what's up you guys, this is SGB618 here and today I'm going to be doing yes, another Q&A video. You guys really seem to like my previous Q&A videos and this video is no different, it was very highly anticipated. So um, I actually got a ton of questions this time and again both gaming and non-gaming. If you guys want to comment any more questions, obviously I'm pretty much going to be doing more in the future at this rate since you guys really love these Q&A videos um, just make sure that you join the SG Discord links are in the description uh, make sure that you go to the hashtag Q&A section and then drop your questions down there or if you don't have Discord just make sure that you comment it in the question down below but without further ado let's not waste any time let's just go straight into it what day is it? today is Q&A day would you speed run a game? If so, which one would it be? Okay, I would actually speed run Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yes, it's my all time favorite game, so you know I would do it. But I just think it would be super cool to see like how fast I'll be able to like drive in each race and then pretty much do a grand total of how I went through every single one of the tracks. Um, there is a YouTuber that does do that, TWD98, and there's probably a couple of other most specifically Mario Kart Wii YouTubers that do that so um, yeah shout out to them I do want to try that in the future it looks pretty fun not gonna lie what is your best time slash track in 200cc time trials in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe I don't actually know I actually know that's a lie I believe it's on Rainbow Road the SNES version and I went pretty fast on that one I think it I think I was using the B dasher with the blue roller wheels. I don't know the name, but uh, yeah, I think that was on the original Wii U version as well. So I've, I remember getting some good timings for that. What is your favorite and least favorite food? If you can't decide, name one food you like and one food that you dislike. Okay, so my favorite food, it was difficult. Um, my favorite type of food is Italian. I love pasta I love pizza lasagna you can you can name it I love it all but uh, my favorite food has to be macaroni and even better if it has bacon bits in it oh mate no you need to try it <laughs> you need to try it because all the all of these years I just had it with cheese and that guys don't get me wrong that is great yeah listen next time you go to a restaurant and they sell Italian food have it with bacon bits here yeah? you will not regret it i kid you not it's so sick um least favorite food um i need to give that a think you know um a food that i don't like i'm probably gonna get hate for this i don't like stir fry i think it just it's not a nice flavor overall noodles for the win and spaghetti well you probably knew that i like spaghetti anyway um I don't eat lamb, I don't eat a lot of red meat, I, it just doesn't agree with me really, but uh, yeah. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> if you didn't have a YouTube channel, what would it be like? I have no idea man, but um, I know that my life would be a lot different because, because I do YouTube literally all the time, I would have something else to do instead of YouTube, so it would be a lot different for me. Obviously you guys wouldn't know who I was if I wasn't a YouTuber, so. What is your favourite coupling? That's easy, Roy. Lollies or chocolate? Okay, I like Chopper Trumps's, um lollies, more specifically the strawberry ones they're nice I'm a chocolate guy I'm not gonna lie chocolate is better than sweet so you can roast me for that all you want I'm sorry but I will always be a chocolate guy what is one plus one obviously it's 11 in your opinion do you think the official Nintendo switch accessories are highly expensive should the prices be reduced yeah <laughs> let's be honest yeah the reason why Nintendo accessories are so expensive is because they're name brand the reason why Nintendo's accessories are so expensive is because it has the company's name on it stuff like the power a controllers or what's what's another brand PDP they're all cheaper because yeah even though they're still licensed by Nintendo they're not manufactured by Nintendo so 
that's actually another reason why third party games are normally a lot cheaper than the actual Nintendo games on the Switch. So like for example, Streets of Rage 4, pre-ordered it by the way, <laughs> uh, Streets of Rage 4, that was only like 20 to 30 pound. And then Animal Crossing New Horizons, that's like 40 to 50 pound. What do you think is under Shy Guy's mask? Now I made a video, like a theory video about that quite a few years ago. Um, To be honest, I can't even remember what I said in the video. Oh, I, yeah, I do. I thought that it was like another species inside of Shy Guy, but I don't actually think that because the sounds are different. I was going to say it's another mask, but looking at Luigi's, um, what is it, his reaction, when he saw Shy Guy without his mask in that um, GameCube, I think it was a tennis game, like Mario Power Tennis or something like that. Um, Luigi just looked scared, so I was like, I don't know, maybe it's just like a pair of eyes under there, I don't know. Would you ever do reaction videos? Yeah, I would. I have done it before on the channel, but not a lot. So now that I've got the equipment now and it's become a lot easier to do those types of videos, I might as well. Would you rather have Bowser breathe fire on you or have King B haunt in your house forever? I would rather be burnt by Bowser because that would be that would end a lot quicker because I would die quicker. With King B that would be for the rest of my life, which would be years and years and years. So yeah, I've got to go with Bowser on that one. Oh, I'm gonna get hate for this one. Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Neither because I don't drink Coke. What do you think? What do you think of this character roster? Okay, let me zoom in and have a look at this. So we've got Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Rosalina, um, Luma. That's an interesting one. So you separate Rosalina and Luma. That's actually good for Smash Bros because Luma's annoying in Smash Bros. And Toad's Toadette. What's that Toad's called again? Um, Toad's Worth. Yes, Toad's Worth. I remember. Um, Goomba, that would be pretty funny. Goomba. Um, Paragoomba, Keeper, Keeper Paratrooper, DK, why baby DK? Start with the babies, guys. <laughs> yes, obviously bring Funky Kong back, come on. I, I was going to list every single one of them, but we'll be here for a while. You guys have eyes. Um, okay, with King K. Rule and that other crocodile guy, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It's just that I think it might be a little too much DK. Like, I don't want it to... Obviously, we got other Nintendo franchises in there, but I just don't want too much Donkey Kong. Like, we already have Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and Funky Kong. I don't want so many Donkey Kong characters in, in the game. But overall, guys, um, aside from Little Boo, um, who else? Honey Queen... The, all of the babies and King K. Rule and that other guy that's right next to him. I'm pretty okay with this roster, you know. If that was the new Mario Kart roster, I would be pretty happy. That would, I think that would rival Mario Kart Wii's roster, in my opinion. If you could play on one video game console, no PC, for the rest of your life, which one would it be? The console can be from any generation. Okay, this is hard because I'm actually stuck between my favourite console of all time. It's between the Wii, like just the Wii, and the Switch. I can't decide because the Wii has the nostalgia factor, but the Switch is just so sick right now. Um, do you prefer playing 2D or 3D Mario games? And if you could keep one type, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. So, um, well, Big Wizzle, you might even know this because we both grew up playing a couple of Nintendo games together. But with Mario 3D games, I've noticed I've preferred the 3D Mario games so much more. 3D Mario is the way to go for me. With 2D Mario, don't get me wrong, it's good and it's like reinvented the wheel. I just have fun with the 3D ones. <laughs> That's just me. So, update 3.0 came out for the... Mario Maker 2, how do you feel about it? It's pretty crazy, not gonna lie, I've had a lot of fun with it. I haven't made any levels with it yet because obviously busy editing videos. <laughs> but um, from the levels that I have played, 
with um, all of those new elements and stuff it's, it's really cool I really like it if you would want what <laughs> sorry guys I can't read if you would want one food right now what would it be no biscuits or Pringles probably are oh, no biscuits I was just about to say chocolate digestives but no oh okay so dinner as I said macaroni with bacon bits for dessert mint chocolate chip ice cream best ice cream out there no contest Ooh, oh this is an interesting question Game Boy or SNES that's a really tough comparison actually uh, one's a handheld and one is like, a full-on console um the games the games are really different the games are really different on those two but I grew up more with Game Boy games I think I might have to go with Game Boy in that one now this is the question that everybody wants to know what are your top five favorite games yes I, I know my top five off by heart I'm not gonna do it in order on purpose because I want you guys to figure out the orders for yourself but in no particular order my top five games of all time are Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Streets of Rage 2, Burnout Paradise Remastered, Kirby's Dream Land, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's my top five. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good do you think you are at 3D World? 3. How do you feel about arms coming to Smash? Okay. I've never actually played ARMS, it looks pretty fun though, I might actually give it a shot. Um, I think that's pretty cool because Smash Bros is really trying to get characters that no one was expecting. And I will be very very interested to see how they incorporate an ARMS character into Smash Bros. Like we saw that when we saw um, Inkling, like no one was going to know what they were going to be like when they were going to join. But um... I think even more so with arms because it's such like a bizarre fighting game so it's weird man but um yeah i'm looking forward to seeing that on the scale of one to ten how much of a gamer are you now if you asked me this when like a few years ago i probably would have said seven eight but now that i'm growing up i'm gonna be 17 this month less and less time less and less free time because of coursework and other stuff obviously editing this as well but i want to make this my job obviously um i would probably say um i've fallen to about five or six i'm still very much a gamer i still love games it's just i've gone down a peg because i don't have time to play games as much anymore so now that you've gotten used to your equipment what videos do you plan on doing with it so as mentioned, I'm going to be doing reaction videos. Again, I've already sort of started that. I want to do a lot more gameplay videos. Obviously, I do live streams and stuff, but I would like to, you know, do more challenge videos and stuff like that. You guys seem to really enjoy that. I want to do more reviews and unboxings, especially that I've got this really good microphone. Um, hopefully, the quality would be pretty good. Um, with and yes, I would be doing some more ASMR on there as well. Not not ASMR videos. I mean like ASMR with the unboxing. So don't worry, I'm not going that route. It's all good. It's all good. But anyway, guys, I think that's about it for this video. So um, hopefully you did enjoy it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed part three of um my Q and A. Um, Obviously comment down below if you have any more questions for me for the next time I do a Q&A video. I don't know when, but um, obviously make sure that you join the Discord server so that you can do hashtag um, Q&A and um, drop your questions down there. That's why I would prefer preferably like you guys to um, drop your comments if you can. And um, let me know if you guys have answered any of these questions yourself. I'll be very interested to know what you guys think too. Anyway... Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.